The bill, among others, seeks to eliminate all forms of violence against persons and to provide maximum protection and effective remedies for victims and punishment for offenders. In this lead debate, sponsor of the bill, Senator Isai Jubrin, said it has become obvious that it contains provisions that are inimical to the realization of its objectives. The Kogi East lawmaker added that the act contains inadequate provisions for compensation of the victims of violence. This bill was enacted in 2015 against the backdrop of the rising cases of violence, especially domestic violence against women. The initial bill sought protection for women from male domination violence in the face of opposition to its obvious gender bias nature. The promoters renamed it, tinkered with some of its provisions, introduced seemingly gender neutral language and successfully obtained its, pass its passage. Its explanatory memorandum states that it prohibits all forms of violence against persons in private and public life and provides protection and remedies for victims and punishment of offenders. Upon close scrutiny of the act, it becomes obvious that it contains provisions that are inimical to the realization of its objectives. After the deliberations, the bill was referred to the Senate Committee on Human Rights and Legal Matters to report back within six weeks. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to establish chartered out of home media practitioners of Nigeria and for other related matters 2024. Second reading taken. This bill is now committed to the Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters to report back in six weeks. Similarly, a bill for an act to establish chartered out-of-home media practitioners of Nigeria also passed for second reading on the floor of Tuesday's plenary. In this lead debate, sponsor of the bill, Enyinaya Abaribe, stressed that the bill seeks to establish the regulatory body to oversee digital display in the country and the need for, to professionalize engagement in the field. Uh, Mr. President, this is where you uh, need to know exactly what it takes. It encompasses billboards, transit advertising, and digital displays. And as we know, these play a pivotal role in the country's advertising landscape today. It's of significant importance in that it addresses the multifaceted out of home media in our environment and the need to professionalize engagement in the sector. The body will, among other things, advance the profession. The body will promote the art and science of out-of-home media practice, ensuring that it evolves with the technological advancements and international best practices. The bill was thereafter referred to the Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters, Information and Media and Publicity to report back in six weeks. Would it mean that if an unwholesome act occurs in Sokoto, the person will bring it to the High Court of FCT? So there are a lot of things that we need to amend and, uh, and calls for amendment. So, it's not cast in concrete. We haven't passed it yet. But all we are doing is just to look at the methodology and to be convinced that it should go for second reading. So I, I, think, uh, I think all the people who have spoken allude to the fact that this bill should actually go for second reading. So those in support that this bill be read a second time say aye. Those again say there. The eyes have it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.